I heard President Obama's speech uh, today, and I think he's already on the right track. We're talking about green jobs and uh, uh, finding creative ways uh, to uh, energize, literally. Um, and so I think he's on the right track. But yeah, I would count green jobs and assistance to small businesses. Um, and creative ways to fund some research uh, for energy sources. So I think uh, one of the very important things is for them to set an example right away, that they put the solar panels directly on the White House again, and that they affect taxes to start uh, you know, being based on pollution and, and their, the real cost of how that business is doing business, and giving direct incentives for taking steps so that that business isn't in danger of losing money they have actually an opportunity to gain as long as they make change. I think it's really important for him to um, focus on infrastructure. So things like public transportation, uh, renewable energy, and um, I think that that will go a long way toward moving us in the right direction. One thing I'd love President Obama to do is to work on getting the prices right. Uh, our pri the prices in the market are so distorted by subsidies that we never know what things really cost when we pay for them. So while a lot of the attention is on adding subsidies to solar and, re and renewable energy, I'd like to see us pull the subsidies out from under fossil fuels, pull the subsidies out from under nuclear, pull the subsidies out from under pollution, which is in itself a subsidy. Companies get to put pollution in the commons that we all breathe at no cost. To get the prices right, and that's something that will help provide an advantage to the businesses that understand it and do it right. That, I think, would be one big thing to do. Well, he has to provide uh, incentives for investors to invest in green businesses. In my business, they can free up the mortgages. Okay. And um, when people have more money to spend on their homes, then they can afford to do the green improvements that we encourage them to do. Put the solar panels back on the White House. Jimmy Carter put them on. Ronald Reagan took them down. Put them back, Obama. We need them. Thank you. Well, I think we need a, a, a New Deal type program, a new New Deal with a lot of investment in energy infrastructure. Uh, to, that will jumpstart our, our industrial economy and create new jobs in producing that just as it did uh, during Roosevelt's New Deal. I think we need some significant uh, federal investment in projects that will make our energy efficient economy. I personally think that um, it is what's going to pull us out of this recession. Certainly here in California is the green, uh, whether it's green technology or clean tech or solar, I think that's what's going to pull us out of, the, out of the recession. Well, I think a big part of what Obama can do is, number one, talk about it. Because it didn't seem the previous administration was even willing to talk about the green economy or to, to acknowledge that it was something that was viable. Um, but also, I think making it incentives for businesses to turn green or um, and to help banks. I work for a bank, and there's incentives they can do for banks to help us do loans, especially for green businesses, and special rates, and special incentives. That would make a huge difference um, because we just don't have those type of incentives right now. Maybe Obama needs to transform the garden at the White House. I think there's been some talk about changing the rose garden they to can, make it more they of an edible garden. Very local, super local produce, organic produce. Yeah, they on the White around. House lawn okay. and serve as an example, like the Victory Gardens in World War II. I mean, there's a long tradition of Americans growing their own food to support themselves and to support their neighbors. President Obama, I think you should take um, Al Gore's advice, number four on his top five list of things to do to halt climate change, and that is retrofit existing buildings for energy efficiency. This really should become a national priority. The city can encourage those and can encourage orga organizations like the Ella Baker Center and, uh, and, and Green for All uh, to uh, take their very talented public spokespeople and, and uh, like Van Jones and get them out into the community and give them lots and lots of exposure because they'll, they'll drive it forward. Yeah, we need to remain the manufacturing leader in the world in green products and green energy, no doubt. So that's one thing that we want to promote. Um, the other thing is uh, we have to decide what our strategies are for energy and all that kind of thing. And uh, there's a lot of different conflicting policies there, so we really want to work as a leader in that. And I think the Green Chamber will lead the way in, in helping businesses decide what that strategy is. So we want to work with them and work with the Senate and the House and the state here. I think Oakland is in a position to demonstrate 
that green is, is better economics. I think Oakland knows enough about the value, of, let's say, of recycling, the value of efficiency, the value of, of uh, putting better manufacturing strategies in place, and, and we can show by what we've already done here that it can be practical for the entire nation. Oakland as a, as a city could do more to, to foster green businesses and really um, you know, promote sustainability in, in a lot of different uh, industries, particularly mine, which is building. So that's what they could do as a city. And beyond that, I think it's more at an entrepreneurial level where people can step up with their, their ideas for innovation and um, you know, get something out there on the table. And with that potential federal funding source, uh, it can really be a boon to help small entrepreneurs get off the ground quickly. And the city of Oakland could help with that, too, by fostering that really you know, embryonic stage to maybe be helped by you know, infusion of federal dollars down the road. It would be more like San Francisco, in a sense, uh, um, where, where they put people ahead in the permit process who have committed to building you know, under those standards. I, I think a lot of that, give incentives for people to build green, essentially. Uh, because just from me, from my point of view, people want to do it. They really want to do it. They just need that little extra shove. It should never be um, more expensive to do the better option. So when it comes to greening, whether it's through subsidies on the one hand or taxation on the other, whatever, um, whatever the city can do in relation to that, it should always be easier for the consumer to make the right choice. We have to come up with regional, with local examples, you know, for food production, energy production, um, a whole bunch of innovation that can happen on a local level. And I think this, this president will support that, but we have to have business plans ready to go. Smaller communities like a county or a city can identify the businesses that are really providing the most services to the populations in those cities and identify them for the Obama administration to provide some support. Even just the PR support alone to let people know there are other options that are out there and I think Oakland needs to really do a better job of marketing the positive things that are happening here in Oakland and not just all the negative things that we hear about. Oakland as a city could have a, an environmentally preferable purchasing policy where every, every purchase that the city makes gives a priority to products that are green, to companies that are green. It's a way of providing an incentive in the lo and that are local. It's a way of providing an incentive in the local economy. San Francisco does this already, other cities do it, and that's a very direct opportunity that uh, doesn't take a whole lot of elaborate policy formation. It's a declaration by the mayor that says we will do this now. Uh, so we can do that now, we can do that right away in Oakland, in Berkeley, and all the cities up and down the East Bay. Well, I think the SBA and the Green Ch Business Chamber have really stepped up to become visible in Oakland. And I think what they're doing tonight, reaching out to the president and asking him, you know, letting him know how we feel is a big, is a really big step in the right direction. Um, you know, I think by prom promoting our local green businesses and getting us all together, uh, tonight I've met a dozen business owners that are green just like I am, and we're going to probably do business together. I think it's a uh, step in the right direction. Yeah.